Hi, today we will discuss six membered and higher heterocyclic rings in easy way. In our previous video, we have discussed the three membered to the five membered heterocyclic ring systems and what is their nomenclature. And today we will discuss the six membered and higher ring systems and what is the nomenclature and how we can give the numbering to these heterocyclic ring systems. Now let us go with the six member ring systems. So the simple ring system is the, the six member ring system with one heteroatom as the nitrogen. So all we have seen this is the pyridine. So pyridine is the, the nitrogen containing six member ring system. And if it is oxygen is present, then it is called as pyron. But in this pyron, second position is saturated because oxygen is having the valency as only two. So the second position should be saturated. So here we are going to indicate the point of saturation with its position and the letter H. So 2H indicates second position is saturated. So this is a 2H pyron. Again here we are not following any particular uh, suffix. So they should be well known with their common names like the pyridine and pyron. Now the six member ring systems with two heteroatoms. Now here we can add an another heteroatom nitrogen at the second position. Otherwise, we can add the other heteroatom at the third position and finally we can also add this heteroatom at the fourth position. So nitrogens can be present at the first and second position or first and third position or first and fourth positions. Now how can we write the name for these ring systems? Here the first one is coming from the pyridine and an extra nitrogen is there like the azar just like in the pyrazole which is a five member ring system here we can use, apply the same logic. So pyridine within the pyridine we are going to introduce the azar. So Period plus aza plus ion. So that is a period ion. If you remove the AZ, it's simply pyridine. So within the pyridine, we have introduced the aza because it's having an extra nitrogen at the adjacent position. So that is a period ion. And what about the second one? So just like the previous imidazole. So here pyre plus imid. Imid indicates that is a meta position, that is the third position, and is a six member ring system that is the ion as the suffix. So pyre plus imid plus ion. So this is the pyrimidine. So pyrimidine is having the nitrogens at the first and third positions. And what is the name for the last one? So here the one of the nitrogen can be indicated as a pyre and then the nitrogen as the aza and suffix as ion. So pyre plus aza plus ion that is the pyrazine. So here we have to remember that in the pyridazine nitrogen is present at the second position so we have retained the pyrid. But in the pyrazine it is present at the fourth position we have taken only prefix pyre. So pyridazine is 1, 2 and pyridazine is 1, 4. So here we have three types of uh, heterocyclic ring systems with two heteroatoms. So pyridazine, pyrimidine and pyridazine. Now let us go with the 6 plus 5 member ring systems. So this is a one of the 6 plus 5 member ring system. The 6 member ring system is the simple benzene and second one is a heterocyclic ring system which can be called as pyrrole. So simply it can be written as benzopyrrole. But actually this ring system is commonly known as indole. So indole is a 6 plus 5 member ring system with nitrogen as the heteroatom. Similarly another one is the benzene with the furon. When the benzene is going to be fused it can be written as benzo plus furon. So it is a benzo furon. Similarly this structure benzo plus thiophene this is the benzo thiophene. These names can be directly derived by using the whatever this uh, term benzo when the benzene is going to be fused with the heterocyclic ring systems. Now let us take another example with the 6 plus 5 member ring system with two heteroatoms here. So what is the name of this one? So now here the whatever the heterocyclic ring system is the imidazole which is attached with the benzene. So benz plus imidazole that is the benz imidazole. So here we have not used the O because it is not easy to pronounce. So benzo imidazole is simplified as benz imidazole. Similarly, another one is the benzene with the oxazole. Now here, this is the benz plus 1,3 oxazole. So that is the 1,3 benz oxazole. Similarly, third structure with the sulfur. So again here, benz plus 1,3 thiazole. That is a 1,3 benzo thiazole. Now let us go with the 6 plus 6 member ring systems. So this is one of the 6 plus 6 member ring system with having nitrogen. So again, this heterocyclic ring system is commonly known as quinoline. 
so here the nitrogen is present at the first position if suppose if position of the nitrogen is going to be changed like this now here the nitrogen is present at the second position so this is called as isoquinoline so quinoline and isoquinoline quinoline is one of the important ring system in the present in the anti malaria like the chloroquine mefloquine and isoquinoline is one of the important ring system present in the smooth muscle relaxant like the papaverin now 6 plus 6 member ring system with two hetero atoms so this is one of the ring system so this is one ring where the nitrogens are present at the first and second position this ring is commonly known as synoline and uh, the nitrogens can also be present at the first and third position then this name of this ring can be derived from the the base name quinoline so because if single nitrogen is present that is quinoline so quinoline plus extra nitrogen as aza that is quinazolin similarly if the nitrogen is present at the first and fourth position then it is commonly known as quinoxalin here don't think that ox indicates oxygen is present this ring is commonly known as quinoxalin where the nitrogens are present at the first and fourth positions these rings are well known with their common names we have to remember as it is the next one is the ender heterocyclic ring system but here you can observe that the nitrogens are not present at the first position so if we give the name ring here this is 1 2 3 and 4 that means here the nitrogens are present at second and third positions how we can give the name for this compound so if we compare this ring with the aromatic ring system having two rings so this is nothing but simply naphthalene so from the naphthalene we can derive a small part which can be used for the naming of this heterocyclic ring system so from naphthalene we can take the phthal as one of the part so from the naphthalene we can take the phthal and since the nitrogen is present we can use the aza but here we are not using the diaza even two nitrogens are present simply we are indicating the nitrogens which are going to replace the carbon as the aza and the nitrogens are present in the six member ring system so ine so what are the complete name is the thalazine so here we are going to discuss like this in order to remember very easily because in the 6 plus 6 member ring system the two nitrogens can be present at the first and second position first and third position and first and fourth position as well as they can also present at the second and third position so when they are present at the second and third position we can simply compare it with the naphthalene and from that we can derive the name so no, the what are this heterocyclic ring system is derived from the naphthalene ring and the name is the thalazine this thalazine ring is present in one of the drug hydralazine hydralazine is a vasodilator used to treat the hypertension as well as in the treatment of alopecia next let us go with the other rings so now this is a ring of 6 plus 7 uh, member ring system and here you can observe it is having again two hetero atoms that is the nitrogens so from which position we have to give the numbering always in the compounds having two or more rings we have to give the numbering from the atom adds into the bridge heads so we can give the numbering either from this atom or from this atom which are adds into the bridge heads bridge heads are nothing but what are the atoms which are which are involved in the fusion between the two rings so we can start the numbering from any of these uh, atoms but if we start the numbering from this nitrogen 1 2 3 4 5 we can give the lowest number to the both of the nitrogen so this numbering is correct so nitrogens are present at first and fourth positions and here you can observe that uh, the third position is saturated it is not attached with any double bond so which we can indicate with an indicated hydrogen 3h so if we give the name this is 3h plus benzo because benzene is going to be fused benzo and nitrogens are present at the first and fourth position so 14 diaza and this is a seven membered ring system with nitrogen so whatever the suffix is the epine so by combining all these we can get the name as 3h benzo digepine or 3h 14 benzo digepine simply we can write benzo digepine because most of the benzo digepines are having the nitrogens at first and fourth position so this is the 3h14 benzo digepine similarly we can go with the another ring where here it is having the sulfur and nitrogen so we can start the numbering from the sulfur because sulfur should be given more preference than the nitrogen so this is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so just like the previous one but here uh, there is no saturation point so simply we can write benzo plus 14 thiazide plus epine so that is the 
one four benjo taiji pine or simply we can write benjo taiji pine but it should be indicated as one four benjo taiji pine because we also have one five benjo taiji pine so in order to differentiate we have to indicate it with the one four so the what are the ring system is the benjo taiji pine Similarly, another one here you can see the three rings are there, so it's a tricyclic ring system. So from which atom we have to give the numbering? Here sulfur should be given the least number, but we cannot start the numbering from the sulfur because sulfur is uh, there in the middle ring. We cannot start the numbering from middle of the ring. We should start the numbering from any of the terminal. So let us start here. This is one, two, three, four, and five. So in this way we have given the least number to the sulfur that is five. If we try to give the numbering in reverse direction, sulfur will get the more number, which is not correct. So sulfur is given the fifth number, then six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now the sulfur is present at the fifth position, and nitrogen is present at the tenth position. And because the nitrogen is saturated here, we can indicate this as ten H. So ten H plus pheno. Even here two phenyl groups are there, but here we are not using again diphenyl or diphenyl. Simply we are going to indicate by pheno. That means pheno indicates the pheno group is going to be flanked on both of the sides of this heterocyclic ring system. So 10H plus pheno plus sulfur is indicated by thia and nitrogen is indicated by aza. And sulfur and nitrogen are present within a six-member ring system, so the suffix is ine. Combining all these, we will get 10H phenothiazine. So phenothiazine ring system is present in the well-known drugs uh, which are used as the antipsychotics like chlorpromazine, trifluoromazine, flufenazine. In all of these, phenothiazine ring system is present. Similarly, another heterocyclic ring with so many heteroatoms. Here you can observe four heteroatoms are there, and uh, the numbering is somewhat different uh, in this ring system. This ring system is made up of uh, two heterocyclic rings. One of the heterocyclic ring is made up of pyrimidine, and another heterocyclic ring is the imidazole. So this is a imidazole or pyrimidine. But if we give the numbering here, so we have to start the numbering from the pyrimidine ring. So one, two, three, four, and here you can see that we are giving numbering even to the bridged heads. In the previous examples, we are not giving the numbering to the what are the bridged heads, but in this uh, structure, we will give the numbering to the bridged heads. So four, then we are giving the five and six. That means we are completing the numbering to the pyrimidine ring initially. Then to the imidazole, we are going to continue there. So seven, eight, and nine. So saturated nitrogen is indicated by ninth position. So this is commonly known as a purine ring, which can be indicated as nine H purine. So nine H purine is a imidazole or pyrimidine, but it is commonly known as purine ring system. In this way, we can have a lot of heterocyclic ring systems, and in many of these heterocyclic ring systems, we can remember the name by using some logic, by using some prefix and suffix, and uh, otherwise we can compare the rings with the other rings so that we can remember their names very easily. So that's about the heterocyclic ring systems naming and numbering. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell notifications, and please share this uh, video with your friends. And post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching.